Yo, what's good? It's your boy Riot Maker. And on today's Destiny video, we're going to discuss the best art type pulse rifle to use in the Crucible. Um, the 73 rate of fire, 7 impact type pulse rifle. We're going to use my God Roll Souls PDX 45 as an example. That's SPO 26, high caliber, counterbalance, and small. So before we get into the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe to my channel, even comment, give me some feedback, criticism on what I can do better to grow my channel. Um, this is kind of my first, almost my first gun review, not really a gun review, it's more of a class review. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to talk about why this archetype of pulse rifle is, is going to dominate the Crucible as soon as people figure it out. And that's a lot of major components play into that. The nerf to the Clever Dragon lowered or increased the time to kill, I'm sorry, to be almost equal to the PDX-45 in this R-Type of Pulse Rifle. And the only way that the Clever Dragon has a faster time to kill is if you're getting all headshots. But in reality, not everyone is getting all headshots. There's going to be a couple gunfights where you hit three full bursts of headshots and you drop them really fast, but the majority of the time you're using or you're landing body shots and headshots as a combination. So that in itself is going to add the consistency to the Soros PDX-45. It's going to feel more consistent and it's going to feel like it kills faster than the Clever Dragon. And it's partially also because of my playstyle I feel these, this archetype of Pulse Rifle is really strong. I'm a very aggressive player. I like to be in people's faces. I like to run into their spawn. I just, I'm very aggressive. So. These pulse rifles, this archetype comes with a very high equip speed. And that's very, very good for me to pull up my weapon, to pull it in and out, switch from my shotgun to a sidearm, shotgun to a, I mean, I'm sorry, pulse rifle to a sidearm or pulse rifle to shotgun. It happens very quickly because of the equip speed. And this gun does 25 to the head, 17 to the body, which is equivalent to a three to four burst kill. The Hopscotch Pilgrim has that three to four burst kill, but it has a lower rate of fire. So that's the reasoning behind this being better than the Hopscotch. And I already explained why it's better than the Clever Dragon and the Waltz and the Grasp of Malik. And because of the hand cannons nerf to their range, this gun could outgun hand cannons. By the time hand cannons are hitting their drop off, this gun is still hitting its max damage at max range. And for example, these guns have a very minimal damage drop off. Um, as you can see there, I was doing 25 to the head and around that time is when hand cannons start to get their damage drop off. Um, this gun has very high stability and like I said, high equip speed. Um, but if you're not fortunate enough to have a, a Soros PDX-45, I'm going to tell you guys some good alternatives. Um, starting from the easiest to get to the hardest to get. So the easiest pulse rifle to get of this R-Type right now is the uh, B29 Party Favor. Um, you can just straight out purchase it from the Crucible Quartermaster for 150 legendary marks. Um, comes with glass half full, small bore, and I believe it's partial refund or rodeo. And that's a fairly decent combination. Um, it's fluid, uh, all the perks work together, small bore drops your mag size, and then glass half full kicks in when you're at the bottom half of your mag. Um, the B29 Party Favor does have the lowest mag size, but it has a good stability and a good aim assist stat, so I recommend getting that. You can get it as a Nightfall reward as well, through Legendary Engrams, or even a reward from your Crucible package. Um, the second easiest one to get is the Hawksaw. Um, yeah, everyone remembers the Hawksaw from its heyday, from when it used to murder everyone. Everyone remembers the Hawksaw. So, the Hawksaw is easy to get, but it's slightly tricky. All you have to do is uh, go into your hard drive of your system and uninstall Rise of Iron. And what that does is it reverts all your updates back to Taken King. So when you enter the tower, the vendor is still selling the Hawksaw, and you can buy the one with counterbalance, small bore, and fitted stock, which is amazing. It's great. It's almost like this PDX I have, except with fitted stock instead of high cal. Or you can get it through legendary engrams, but it has a lower drop rate because it's not a Rise of Iron weapon. Um, so just take that into consideration. You can also still get the PDX 45 um, when Gunsmith is 
giving away his packages on Wednesday, he might bring a PDX45 package and all you have to do is hold on to it until the next arms day and see if he has a role you like. I personally waited about a month and a half, two months to get this role. Um, you could even do the prototype weapons and rank up the gunsmith and he has a chance to drop the PDX45, which is pretty amazing. Uh, you can also get the bad juju. Yes, it's an exotic and yes, it's underrated. The bad juju is amazing. You can get it from Xur, Nightfall Reward, through Legendary or Exotic Engrams. And it's amazing to shut down rushers and to get people from long range. It has perfect balance, smart drift control. It has hit fire. Um, the perk, the exotic perk reloads for you instantly and it increases your damage by 8%. So you can theoretically increase your time to kill or just drop people faster or even hurt. Um, the next one is Aegis of the Reef, and this one's kind of hard to get. It's because it's very exclusive to the Prison of Elders or Challenge of Elders, and that's the only way to get it. You cannot get this through an Engram, you cannot get this through a Nightfall reward. You have to do Challenge of Elders or Prison of Elders and have it drop as a reward for completing the bounties or the quests. I forgot what they're called, but you have to complete them. The next one is the Blind Perdition. And all you have to do is win 7 games in Trials, as long as your Trials card is active. You don't need to go 7-0 and to get it, just win 7 games in Trials and it has a chance to drop. It's not 100% guarantee, but you know if you have 3 characters, you can make it work. Um, now, the Outbreak Prime is very, very confusing at times to get, but it's a solid PvP weapon. I don't recommend using it in PvP, um, but if it's your only... Pulse Rifle this archetype to get, then, you know, get it. Um, all you have to do is do a raid exotic quest. There's uh, plenty of guides out there for it right now, so I highly recommend looking into that and maybe getting this. And the last one to get, the hardest one to get, is the Blind Perdition Adept. And this gun is amazing. It comes with hand laid stock, high cow, snapshot intrinsically, the sight highlights enemies, and it has counterbalance. Um, the only bad thing about this pulse rifle is the mag size is fairly small but it's actually it's a really great weapon these weapons as soon as people notice it are the best to use in the crucible and they also have the, the fastest time to kill in terms of headshot body shot combination when you're shooting people compared to the clever dragon and waltz faster time to kill on the hopscotch pilgrim when hand cannons are hitting their fall off damage you're still hitting max damage or close to max damage your fall off damage is almost non-existent and these weapons are great for trials of osiris or sixes they're amazing team fire weapons i rack up a lot of assists when i use this weapon because we're constantly firing as a team um so yeah i mean i hope you guys like it uh try it out try to get one of the uh Weapons that I told you to get, the B29, Hawksaw, PDX, Bad Juju, Ages of the Reef, um, Blind Perdition, or Outbreak Prime, they're all amazing. And this archetype of Pulse Rifle is going to dominate the Crucible, I can just see it. I hope you guys like it, uh, I hope you guys like my video, I would appreciate a comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, trying to, just trying to grow my channel. I hope you guys have a good day, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Alright y'all, peace.